Lord be with you. This is to start your day. We welcome you and invite you to follow up with what we began yesterday, reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 4 through 13. God's various gifts are handed out everywhere, but they all originate in God's Spirit. God's various ministries are carried out everywhere, but they all originate in God's Spirit. God's various expressions of power are in action everywhere, but God himself is behind it all. Each person is given something to do that shows who God is. Everyone gets in on it. Everyone benefits. All kinds of things are handed out by the Spirit and to all kinds of people. The variety is wonderful. Wise counsel. Clear understanding. Simple trust. Healing the sick. Miraculous acts. Proclamation. Distinguishing between spirits. Tongues. Interpretation of tongues. All these gifts have a common origin, but are handed out one by one by the one Spirit of God. He, decide who get, he decides who gets what and when. You can easily enough see how this kind of thing works by looking no further than your own body. Your body has many parts, limbs, organs, cells, but no matter how many parts you can name, you're still one body. It's exactly the same with Christ. By means of his one spirit, we all said goodbye to our partial and piecemeal lives. We each used to independently call our own shots, but then we entered into a large and integrated life in which he has the final say in everything. This is what we proclaimed in word and action when we were baptized. Each of us is now a part of his resurrection body, refreshed and sustained at one fountain, his spirit, where we all come to drink. The old labels we once used to identify ourselves, labels like Jew or Greek, slave or free, are no longer useful. We need something larger, more comprehensive. Join me in a word of prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that your gifts are so extremely various, so extremely wonderful, so extremely extreme. Help us to celebrate the gifts that you've given us. Not to be jealous of what someone else has, but to make use of, to make special and blessed use of the gifts you've given us. For each of us are gifted by the Spirit to do your will, all differently and all special. We thank you for those gifts and ask you to help us use them so that your word might become known in the world, so that people who know not the love of God might know it through us. In your holy name we pray. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.